Hi Aquarius, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your mid-February reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Aquarius, let's see what you have coming up for the rest of February. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you all for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. Also, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. We have the Seven of Swords that just jumped out. We also have the Empress here. In all of the decks, guys, I am using, they are listed below. So let's see. What does Aquarius have coming up here for the rest of February 2022, please? Aquarius. Okay, crossed by the Knave of Pentacles at your foundation. We have the Knight of Pentacles. In the recent past, we have the Nine of Cups. Okay. So we have the Eight of Swords crowning you. We have the King of Wands in the near future. All right, and at the bottom of the deck, okay, we have the Priestess. All right, so we just seen the Empress. Now we have the Priestess. So Divine Feminine coming through. Some of you, that's that's your energy, or you could be dealing with someone, a woman around you, perhaps, okay, you have some majors, so we seen the empress at the bottom of the deck, we do have the priestess, underneath the priestess we have the devil, so that's quite the combination. You don't see that too often. Um, this is definitely something with jealousy, drama. And so listen to your intuition when it comes to dealing with any friends, family, any work situations, maybe you're dealing with another woman. If you are a female, you could be dealing with another woman. We have the devil, we have the five of swords. Not the best combo. We also have the four of wands here. So this is definitely, for some of you, something within the family. If not within the family, this is in the community that you're in. It involves a lot of different people. For some of you, this is this is jealousy. Uh, you may have some haters around you. You may be a priestess. Maybe you're the empress and the priestess, which would be uh, a very beautiful, uh, spiritually and evolved being and you may have a lot of haters around you because of that yeah i mean this is quite the combo you see the high priestess here her eyes are closed she's meditating she's also holding a crystal ball and so definitely do that first of all do that get in touch with your intuition because you may have some shady characters around you with the devil in the five of swords some of you because her eyes are closed and with this being a general reading you may not be seeing this but i'm definitely reading for some aquarians where i think you're very very much aware of this situation this is some sort of drama in the community, this is some sort of drama or jealousy going on around you. 
and it may involve a Pisces, possibly a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Libra for some of you. And you may be a female or you may resonate with the feminine, the divine feminine, and you may be a very spiritually evolved person. Um, you may be a mother or not. You could be someone who's very successful. Maybe uh, within your career, you could be growing, you could be expanding, but there are some haters, that's for sure. Some haters around you. So just be aware. This is something I think I've definitely gotten for you guys this year. I know I've gotten this for you before, but I want to say I've gotten this message for you guys this year. I want to say within the last month, yeah. Yeah, and this particular deck, this is very interesting. Um, you may even have someone who is trying to, let's say, help you. <laughs> you may have someone around you in the community, Four of Wands. This person may act like your friend. All I'm really seeing here, stand out the most is the look, the expression on the devil's face, the expression on uh, one of these characters here on the Five of Swords. And so you have someone here who looks innocent. You have someone here who looks innocent, naive, perhaps sweet. And then you have someone who looks very jealous. There's a hater. There's a hater. It could be a Gemini or an ear sign. We do have some ear energy coming through. You have the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Sag. So just be careful. Be aware. It, you know, it, I'm not getting anything, you know, malicious. I'm not getting anything bad, anything really bad. But this is definitely jealousy. The very first thing I got when I laid out your cards, Aquarius, was actually some really nice, sweet vibes. And so this Seven of Swords, which was the first card that came out, is avoidance for many of you. This is you avoiding maybe a group of people, people that may act like your friends or, you know, maybe just people that are around you in the community. So people you work with, people you go to school with, whatever it is, you're avoiding that. Now, for some of you, it could be you avoiding your family, you know, whoever's toxic. Um, here we have the page of pentacles, the knave of pentacles. With the Seven of Swords, I feel like I'm um, definitely reading for some Aquarians where you're doing some studying here. You could be doing some studying online. Maybe you're learning something new, a new, a new trade or something like that. I feel like some of you are definitely researching, you're studying, could be staying home more, that's for sure. You have this nice, sweet, even playful energy here. So you could actually be having a lot of fun by yourself or, you know, if you live with somebody and maybe you're avoiding going out or avoiding a certain group of people. You have the Nine of Cups in the recent past, Nine of Cups here. That's really what I'm getting is avoiding drama, with the Seven of Swords. Now, maybe you have a child or children. You could actually be staying in, having some fun with your kids. Uh, some of you, you have this sweet energy here. And this definitely can help distract you from this, whatever this is here that you're dealing with. But it's drama, it's a headache. Uh, five of Swords, I mean, maybe some of you, unfortunately, 
you know, it's a general reading. Some of you could be actually being bullied at work or something like that, unfortunately. But, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest and take it, you know, how it resonates for you. Um, it's a general reading. So that's going to be different for all of you. My only concern here is you do have the Eight of Swords crowning you. So with the devil here, this is some internal stuff that you're dealing with here. This is fear. Maybe some of you are... It's possible that some of you are avoiding maybe large groups, maybe leaving the house for some of you. For some of you, that could be how you resonate. The Eight of Swords is feeling trapped, restricted in some way. And in this Eight of Swords, it's a little different. She's, she's bound. Normally you see someone who's bound, but they can easily... Um, free themselves. Here you see a look on her face. She doesn't look happy. There are thorns on this vine here. She does look uh, a little worried. And so yeah, this is crowning you. So needing to release yourself from um, any sort of fears. Maybe needing to vent for some of you. If somebody is bothering you, ask for help. You may have someone coming in here that can help you because you have the King of Wands. So possibly an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius who's significant here at the end of the month. You may work with this person for some of you. If you're involved with this person, things could be progressing really slowly with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Maybe you're waiting on an opportunity, waiting on some money to come in. This could be your energy uh, here in the near future. This could be you, Aquarius, quite passionate, taking action. So maybe mid-February, you could be avoiding you could be holding back because of fear for some of you but we see an energy shift so this is very positive with the king of wands and nine of cups nine of cups is a wish card nine of cups is 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 someone who's happy happy doing whatever you're doing for some of you you're learning something new But let's do some clarifying for Aquarius. What is the Seven of Swords for Aquarius? Now, for a few of you, you could be dealing with somebody who maybe is avoiding you. Or if you have a child or even children with someone you may feel like they're avoiding their child or their responsibilities obviously that's not for everybody okay so we do a marriage here looking at the seven of swords could be avoiding the group could be staying in with your partner if you resonate with that i do see you very happy for some of you, the King of Wands could be your partner. But let's take a look at the Knight of Pentacles. If you are involved with someone, maybe, maybe some of you Aquarians are doing some online dating, listen to your intuition. If somebody just doesn't feel right, if their, their vibes are off, um, I mean, you know what to do with the high priestess here. Trust your gut. Um, maybe you need to look look at someone a little bit more, especially if, if you met them online, which could be exactly what you're doing here. They could be married. But let's take a look at the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. What is the Knight of Pentacles? Okay, we have wealthy man. 
Interesting. You could be dealing with a wealthy man. Let's look at the Nine of Cups. For some of you, you maybe received an offer from a wealthy man. We see slow progress, but we do see progress. Oh, thief. Thief. That's interesting. This could be a thief of joy for some of you. I mean, maybe you're avoiding someone who just, you know, when you're around them, they they bring you down, you know, um, an energy vampire, something like that. Let's look at the eight of swords. We have two cards that flipped out here. We have Distant Horizons and Mature Woman. So if you're not if you're not worried about yourself, Aquarius, I feel like I can't get the words out. If you're not worried about yourself, you could be worried about a mature woman. This could be your mother. Um, earlier I seen the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you're nervous, you're worried about something with a woman. Maybe she's dealing with a wealthy man. This could be something with your parents. Maybe for some of you, somebody that is at a distance, even though Distant Horizons just came out in the reverse. So um, that's not going to be the case for all of you. Quite interesting. Um, I'm actually going to pull one more on the King of Wands. Please clarify the King of Wands. Maybe, maybe you don't want to do something. Could be avoiding doing something. Maybe you feel like because you're you're getting too old or something like that for some of you. Lovers. So you have marriage coming out. You have lovers here. Interesting. So King of Wands could be a love interest that's coming in. Okay, we have poverty at the bottom of the deck. Somebody may have maybe some money problems, something like that, but that's definitely not all of you. Um, just make sure who you're getting involved with. Make sure that you um, look at them closely, definitely. Trust your trust your gut. Some of you you could be dealing with maybe multiple different characters at this time. But I'm very interesting. Some of you though, you're studying, you're learning something here, maybe online happy at home, maybe with your partner or with family and then maybe avoiding another group of people. Some of you waiting on news. It could be from your boss or from a wealthy man. But let's pull you some additional guidance cards, Aquarius. There could be something coming up with a contract. Just make sure that you are reading everything. With what we've seen at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords. Um, yeah, just be careful if you're signing something. Okay, we do have Success. That just came out, which is great. Be assertive. Yeah, so if there's anything you want to know, speak up. But you do have this Eight of Swords energy here. You may not want to. All right, let's see, Aquarius, but trust your gut, trust your gut, all right, Aquarius, make time for self-love, last quarter moon in Libra, so you could be dealing with a Libra. But you have success coming in. Something is slow growing, but um, we do see success. 
at this time though so this is mid february um it's a good time for you to maybe stay indoors and just you know do whatever makes your heart happy um i see you very comfortable maybe with your kids if you have kids all right aquarius Additional guidance for Aquarius. Yeah, look at this family. See that family? Look at this kindred partnership and we do have the lovers here in the near future so maybe you have something going on with a fire sign this could be a business partner maybe they're the wealthy man or maybe that's you but look at this kindred partnership which is great and then family which resonates with everything i just said spending time with your loved ones you have this nice sweet energy could be you're hanging out with your mom it could be your mom your grandmother for some of you uh, let's see what you have going on the love front but this could be a love interest that's coming in others you may be married let's see Aquarius forgiving and learning let's see if anything else wants to come out for Aquarius looking at their love light the rest of February please Look at this. We have letting go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally, and then wedding. This situation involves marriage. So now you have two uh, marriage cards. You have the lovers. Yeah, so some of you definitely married, and maybe, you know, maybe you had some stuff going on prior, but you're actually working through those issues. Okay. Let's see what signs you're dealing with, Aquarius. It's actually a nice read. Um, I'm getting a number of different things with what we've seen at the bottom of the deck, but I think that you're already handling the situation um, the right way, Aquarius. You're keeping yourself maybe at a distance. You're just distancing yourself from drama. You're avoiding drama. Let's see. Spending time with family. Okay, we have Pisces and Capricorn. So some of you may be involved with the Pisces. Others, a Capricorn, what's interesting is look at this. We have Pisces and Capricorn coming through here as well. Pisces um, with the High Priestess. And then we have the Devil coming through. So that's quite interesting. You may have that in your chart but trust your intuition no matter what. Always trust your intuition, but especially at this time, especially if you're signing something Aquarius, maybe even, um, maybe needing to get some advice from a professional for some of you that may be needed. All right, guys, I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. All right, guys.